Good morning, good morning, good morning. And it really is good morning. <laughs> 3.44 in the morning. And God woke me up. Well, I had tossed a turn, but God woke me up. Just to remind me of his presence. And he gave me this. Bible verse. Psalms 23. Psalms 23. King James Version. The Lord is my shepherd I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadows of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. It's so sweet to have Jesus as a friend. It's so sweet to have him watch over and care for me and for us. He is so sweet. He is so sweet. Well, it's another day's journey, and I'm glad about it. Getting closer and closer to my destiny. <laughs> and I had to get another part for the car, and so I'm going to film uh, me working on the car. I'm going to go out here, and I have to put a, a coolant sensor on my car and so I'll be videotaping that that will be added to my video collection well all I can say is he's a healer he's a friend he's a father for the fatherless he's a mother for the motherless he's a sister and a brother he is like no other. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, sweet Jesus. There is no friend like Jesus. So you have a wonderful, marvelous morning. I pray that when you arise, whatever hours it will be, I pray that you have God on your mind. I pray that you have this verse. Remember that he is your shepherd. He is your keeper. He will keep you in the midst of a storm, in the midst of trials and tribulations, no matter what come against you. As you see, I just keep on going through. And he just comes back and he feeds me. And he encourages me. And he picks me up when I'm down. Mm. So sweet. Mm. No matter how low I may go, he's there with me. No matter how high I go, he's there with me. In the middle, <laughs> he's with me. Although he said, I want you hot. I want you cold. He said, if you warm, he said, I will spew you out of my mouth. But that don't have anything to do with him being with you. When you're low, when you're hot, and in the middle. He's there for you. He cares for you. Keep him on your mind. Keep him in your heart. Do something nice and kind for somebody today. You know. And um, what I love too about that verse right there. How he just brought everything into perspective. Is when he said he prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. He knows about our enemies. 
You know, you with that, oh yeah, he know about your little friend. But he knows about your enemies. And if he knows about your enemies, he knows about how you feel. He knows where you at. He knows when you depressed. He knows when you sad. He cares about all that. And look how he cares for me. He came back and he told me. He gave me the 23rd Psalm. You know. And that's what I love about when you do go to church. That the pastors will, will reinstill in you. Pick up the Bible for yourself. Because times like these when you load. And when you don't feel that you have any more energy. You feel like you out of gas. <laughs> I'm talking about car gas. You out of gas like a lawnmower. You know, you out of gas. Here's these beautiful scriptures that he will bring to remembrance. And you can pull strength from them. So you can get up and keep going. It refuels you. So yeah, I just finished reading Daniel. And I'm getting ready to go. Well, I started tonight. Uh, reading in audio, uh, listen to the audios of uh, First Samuel. So I'm getting ready to complete First Samuel and Second Samuel, but I completed Daniel. You know, it, it threw me off a little bit at the end because I didn't know that Daniel had that many visions. <laughs> he was spewing out all kind of visions. Daniel, who became Belazar in the eyes of um, King Nebuchadnezzar. And then he was around for uh, King uh, 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 King Abuchadnezzar's, uh son. So yeah, pick up the Bible. You know, it's never too late to pick up the Word, and for the Word to encourage you. So God bless you. Get up, throw on some clothes, wash your face, and get out here and be great. Be godly. Be full of the Holy Spirit. And may God keep a wedge of protection. A hedge, a wedge. Keep all of that from you. Because you definitely need a wedge with these people driving out here in Louisville, Kentucky. The Lord have mercy. <laughs> so you be very careful. And don't take chances crossing railroad tracks. Even if a person is behind you blowing the horn. Don't panic. Don't rush. Take your time. Have peace. Have God's mercy on your life today. And be very careful. Look both ways when you're crossing. And kiss your children today. And if they're not close to you, call them on the phone and tell them you love them. Or call them on the phone and say hey. And your grandchildren. Be thankful for your relatives and your friends. You know. And don't ever let anybody keep pushing you away from somebody and because what I've learned, especially this week, the people that people try to push me away from, I end up going to that person and they helped me and gave me guidance on how to get to and fro of a place that I need to go to, you know. So be, don't, be careful to push people away because that's where your blessing might be and the answer to your prayers might be. And God just answered my prayers to a person that people was trying to push away. And tell me don't go around. So. Judge people. Don't judge people. But. Befriend people on your own behalf. Not on other people's behalf. Be very careful of letting people judge. And decide on who's your friend. And who you should talk to. And who you shouldn't talk to. Because that's called control. And eventually they'll consider themselves your God. And there is only one God. The Lord Jesus. So God bless you and keep you again. Let him lead and guide you. Have a wonderful, marvelous Tuesday. Oh, I think today is uh, August the 1st. Yes, today is August the 1st, the end of July. It's getting close to school. So don't forget to get the school supplies. I posted a lot of that on Facebook. Uh, different little organizations that's going to have activities and uh, school events. But I'll post another one uh, where you can take the kids to get uh, backpacks and school supplies. So again, 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 God bless you and keep you. Talk to you later.